Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I want to do a Rimmel London new products that just came out not too long ago and I can't wait to show you guys and doing the first impression and review with you guys. Their foundation, this Rimmel London lasting finish uh, 24 hour breathable foundation and their concealer as well and their contour little palette which I'm excited to use and their eyeshadow palettes which I'm really so excited to play with this so I'm so excited especially this primer it feels absolutely amazing so I can't wait to share you guys with these products and also this insta fix matte so if you guys want to see how this look turns out and these products are worth to buy and how they're well in your skin just keep on watching um, please do not forget to like and subscribe to my channel if you are new welcome to my channel my name is Tali Reyes so let's get on to the video shall we guys I did my eyebrows off camera and I also add concealer in my eyelid just to prime me before I head on to the eyeshadow so that's already done we're gonna start with the eyes first and I'm gonna be using uh, the Rimmel Linden um, eyeshadow palette uh, what I really like about this it I feel like you can do like nude um, more like rosy eyeshadow or a smoky so I really like how these shadows are they're very pretty and I just really like them so the only issue with this palette is that I didn't even notice when I first purchased it but it only has one matte color which is this one right here just one and the rest are more like shimmers but oh well I didn't notice and it's already purchased can go back I'm gonna be taking my wet and wild brush and I think this is a blending brush and I'm going to be taking this matte shade, the only shade they have for matte, which is this pinky peach tone. And I'm just going to apply it um, all over my eyelid. Next, I'm going to be taking this, it kind of looks like a brownish orangey tone, which is this one right here. And it is, it does have a little shimmer in it. So I'm going to be taking that with the same brush. And I'm just going to blend everything as my transition shade. With a different brush, um, I'm going to be taking this pinky shimmer tone, which is this one right here. And I'm just going to go not over the lid, but I'm going to go like like under my eyelid just to give that kind of like pink tone in it. I'm going to be taking my e.l.f. Professional Eyeshadow um, Brush. I'm going to be taking this matte shade. And I'm just going to add it on my brow bow just to highlight it because obviously you don't want to combine shimmer with shimmer. It's going to be way too much popping out. So I feel like with matte on top of your brow bow and the shimmer in the center, it will reflect everything very good. So I'm going to be taking that matte shade and I'm just going to apply it in my brow bow just to highlight it. Going back with my fluffy my fluffy blending brush there I go I'm gonna be taking this peach this one right here and I'm just gonna blend everything out so now that the eyeshadow is done I'm gonna go in with my Rimmel Linden um, eyeliner and it's not new I've been having it but since I'm doing Rimmel Linden's cosmetic products I just want to use whatever products I have so that way I can combine everything all together and just show you how amazing they are. So I have this eyeliner and I'm just going to shake it real quick. And I really like this because it's like a pencil and I feel like it's easy to apply. Um, so I'm, I'm going to apply eyeliner. 
and this one is the scandal eyes and it's the shade I'm sure it's black <laughs> always like to start from the center and like I said I'm still practicing um, I'm not very good at applying eyeliner the more that you practice the more you will get better at it Okay, so eyeliner is applied, does not look perfect, but I did my best, and like I said, the practice I do, the more better I will get at it. We're going to start with the face, and I just recently purchased this not too long ago, and I have not tried it yet. It's been sitting in my room for, for quite a while now, and I just like, I want to really do a video on this Rimmel London foundation this is the lasting finish 25 hours breathable long wear foundation high definition medium coverage so see how that goes and it's um spf 20 sunscreen and i got the shade fair ivory so this is what the bottle looks like and i thought it was really nice looking bottle and when you open it, it has a little applicator, which is really cool because, you know, sometimes you don't want to take your finger in it and then, like, apply it. So, I really like this so much. So, I am just going to, one face I'm going to do with my beauty blender and the other side I'm going to do with my brush. So, let's start from here. So, I'm going to apply... I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm just applying everywhere. Chin, half the nose, and probably on my forehead. I apply primer um, before I apply my foundation. This primer is so good, guys. Um, I really do recommend this primer. This is the Rimmel London Insta Flawless. Uh, perfecting radiant primer it works so amazing and when you apply it it feels absolutely great love this check this out guys this side I'm gonna sponge it in with my beauty my beauty blender and I'm just gonna apply like this Mario spray just spray my sponge because why not okay so I'm just gonna blend everything out It dries really quickly um, so you gotta be very prepared to blend everything quickly um, it is true what they say is medium coverage it's not fully coverage so for the sponge it blend it blend okay it has some kind of like shininess in my face it is medium coverage because I can still see my redness from my nose right here that won't cover um, I can still see like my little pimples I can you can also see like my freckles so it is medium coverage it's not fully coverage but it's true what they say it's not like full coverage and then my forehead as well you can see like my freckles on top on my forehead so feels a lightweight the foundation um, but feels good now with the other side I'm gonna apply it and I'm gonna go in with my um, brush Go in with my Wet n Wild brush and I'm just going to blend everything out. I 
feel like with the brush, it does give, it does blend better. Um, brush, I feel like it did blend quickly. And the sponge, I feel like the foundation soaked more in the sponge. So I really like it. I just need to blend all the lines that appeared with the brush just to like cover that. Um, you can still see my redness. Um, you can see more from here than here. Um, but other than that, it feels great. With, I mean, other than that, it blends really well with this brush. I really like how it blends. I'm going to be using the fin Lasting Finish 24 25 Hours Breathable Concealer. And this one, I got the shade Light Ivory. And what is really cool has this little spongy right here. And um, if you squeeze it, the product will eventually will come, come out. There we go. So then I'm just going to apply it under my eyes. Oops. And then I'm going to apply it down the bridge of my nose. I'm going to apply it on my chin. And on my forehead. Go in with my beauty sponge and blend everything out. And then my forehead. really like the concealer how it applied on my face and how well it blend really good i really like the concealer so far really like it then i'm going to be using my rimmel linden is and stuff fix and mad translucent powder this is brand new and look how cute this is guys hashtag which is so cute i found that this was so cute so this is 001 Transl Translucent Powder, which is no color, no nothing, just plain white matte. So I'm going to go over with my, with my brush and I'm just going to set my under eyes with this just to... So, So I really like this because one is not messy like others they like fall out a lot this one didn't it blend really well and it just set my under eyes which is really great so I really like this so far and I do have the other one which is the pressed powder but this one is absolutely amazing I love this and it feels really good no fallouts and it's just really cute really cute Next, I'm going to be using my Rimmel Linden. Um, this is like a little contour mini palette. Um, it's by Kate. It comes with a highlighter, contour, and a blush. And this one, I got the shade 001 Golden Sand. So there were two different shades. I feel like the blush was a little bit darker, and this one's more lighter. And I feel like it's very nice for the spring colors. It sure is. Especially when you're on the go, you gotta fix yourself. You can take this little contour palette with you anywhere on the go. All in here. So I'm gonna be using my um, Real Technique contour brush, and I'm just gonna apply it right here, like in between the line of your ear. I'm going to apply it on my top of the forehead just to blend it. 
everything out. Under my jawline just a little bit. So next I'm going to be taking this cute blush right here. And I'm just going to apply it all over my cheekbones. Because they need some love and shyness in my cheekbones. I really love this color so much. Next, I'm going to be taking this highlighter, which is this one right here. And I'm just going to apply it right here. Now I'm just going to apply it on my nose, down the bridge, Cupid's bow, and then on my chin, just a little mascara. I'm going to be using my Main Willing Mascara. go over back with my palette and I'm going to be taking this like getting to be taking this pinky shade right here and this rose gold right here I'm going to be mixing these two together and I'm just going to apply it under my lash line And I'm going to be taking this white shimmer eyeshadow and I'm actually going to apply it in my inner corner. And I'm just going to add um, mascara on my bottom lashes just a little bit, not that much though. Just to define the lashes. And then for lips, I'm going to be taking my Milani uh, Color Statement Lip Liner. And this one's 03, which is nude color. And And then I'm going to be taking this Innocence Lip Gloss Nude Candy. I've been loving this lip gloss for, for a while now. I'm just going to apply in the bottom just to give me that nude color. To set my whole face, I'm going to be using my Mario Spray. And I'm just going to spray it in the whole entire face. These are the products that I want to mention. Um, first off, the eyeshadow. This Magnific Eyes Blush Edition. I got the shade um, Blush Edition 002. Um, I really uh, like this palette um, so much. Um, there's no fallouts. It blends really great. Really like it, and the price is just absolutely amazing. It's seven ninety nine, and you get. Um, I feel like there's only one matte color, and the rest, the rest are shimmer shades. But honestly, I really love it. The only problem is, I was having trouble blend this white shadow right here. Um, so you have to like wet the brush to in order to get the product out. But other than that, all the uh, shadows are really amazing. You can make like a nude eyeshadow. You can make a smoky eye. 
including with the nude colors. I don't know. You can make anything. So the next one is this Rebel London Contour Little Palette. It comes with a highlighter, contour, and a blush. I love this so much. It's The color is like absolutely pretty. The pink tone. I feel like this pink blush is like great for like the spring. I don't know. It's just, I like it. The highlighter, the highlighter, it's absolutely amazing. As you can see, I'm highlighting and popping. You can see my nose. The contour is really amazing. I like the quality of it. And then this retails for $6.79. And I really like this so much. I feel like you can take this on the go. It feels, it's just so beautiful and very high pigmented as well. I'm not complaining at all with this. And then for this Insta Flawless Primer, I didn't test it out on the video, but I don't know what happened. It didn't videotape this, but I really love this primer so much. It's a radiant primer, and this retails for $6.49. I love it because when you apply it, it feels so great and smooth, and also gives you that shine in it, which is really good because I really like this. So please check this out. I do recommend this one. This is a very good price. So this foundation retails for $8.99. And honestly, this foundation is really good. I like it because it feels a bit lightweight. Um, but right now it feels... But you cannot see my pores at all. Yes, it's a medium coverage. However, most important, important is the pores that you can see your pores so honestly mine does not even show my pores at all i really love this foundation so far their concealer as well um their concealer retails for 4.99 and perfect shades honestly this blend absolutely amazing and it covered my dark circles which is really great um let's see how this 24 hour 25 hours last down below how it turned out the whole day um, but I am going to work, so <laughs> I just wanted to review with this for you, and I'm also going to leave um, how I go, did it work the 25 hours, and so on. So I really do recommend these two products. They're absolutely amazing. The color, it blends well. I feel like with the brush, it blends well with the sponge, but uh, with the sponge, it took more product in the sponge, but... Either way, I really like these products, so please check it out, guys. The next one is this Insta Fix Matte. Oh my gosh, I love this so much, guys, because one, it's not messy. There's some with the translucent powder. It's kind of messy. I think it was the next one, the white tran powder, loose powder. Anyways, this one, it comes with, this one is not loose, but it is easy to blend. It feels amazing. It's not even a mess, and it's just absolutely cute. Look at the hashtag. It's so cute, guys. So I really recommend this pro product as well. And that is all the products. I just want to share with you guys um, my thoughts and um, how I feel. So I really like them. I hope you enjoy my video, guys. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.